Hello everybody and welcome back to Stealing 33 Plays Dark Souls 3! I'm Stealing 33 and today I'm very excited because, uh, is this like an NPC or is this a, is this a, like a player? Dorian of Astora. Oh, let's summon him. Fuck it. Um, between episodes here, uh, welcome back to Dark Souls 3, everybody. Sorry about that. I got a little distracted by looking at Doran of Astoria there. Um, as you can see, we have made some progress. I have indeed bought, purchased the Farron Greatsword, and now I can do some sick Sonic the Hedgehog type flipping and shit all over the place. Um, I don't know how good this weapon's gonna be, but I promise you this, I will definitely use it to kill High King Wolnir. Um, Wolnir's going down. Uh, I can promise you that much, if nothing else. Uh, hello! You appear to be a player. Uh, alright, we'll bow, I guess. I guess we got a player on our hands here. Um, but that's alright. We'll, uh, we'll use this guy, I guess, to fight Wolnir. Uh, I thought it was an NPC. My bad. Um, we'll deal with it in a minute. That's okay. Uh, well, you know what, here's the thing. If he gets hit by the bone ball, he's an NPC, right? I guess he's immune to the bone ball. Uh, excuse me. Are you just gonna sit there and block my way? Like, is that is that what you're gonna do? Make sure you know what they're. Let's uh wait for the bone ball to come back first. Why aren't those uh those rats aren't getting killed by the bone ball? What's going on with that? What's up with that? Roll out of the way. Yeah, I ain't got time for you, man. We're we're on a let's play clock. Yeah, fuck him. All right, let's uh let's get on on with it here. Hey, hey, look out! Look out for the ball. <laughs> All right. Um. So today's episode, we're definitely gonna kill High Lord or High King Wolnir. Um, that's definitely gonna happen. Uh, I don't know. You know, my mic's a little bit hot actually. Um, that's alright. We'll just have to. Had to manage how much we are going to, uh, how much, how loud we're going to be during the course of this episode here. That'll be fine. Um, but we also need to make our way down to the demon ruins in order to get, um, in order to kill Horus, so we can progress with the, um, the usurp the darkness plotline. But we'll do that after we kill Wolnir, because I think that that'll be in our self-interest here. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to go down. I want to kill Wolnir. Let's kill Wolnir. That's what I want to do right now. Um, yeah, I, uh, I have taken a little bit of a little bit of time out. So uh, our our great sword here is level two. Uh, I upgraded it with our um, our Titanite scales that we have accumulated over time. Here we had four of them. I think I've, I managed to upgrade it twice for three. Uh, which wasn't too too bad. Uh, now this is High Lord Wolnir. Wolnir is is not easy but he's not hard either um he can be a little scary the first time you really like you first time you encounter him he can be kind of intimidating um but if you know what you're doing and you know what to expect it's not that bad we will wait for doran here to come come over here you can see wolnir's hand right there there's wolnir how's it going buddy uh so wolnir's boss fight is a gimmick boss fight he has these two giant golden bangles on his arms right here uh, as you can see from, you know, the fact that they're giant and glowing gold in this, like, dark, abyssal environment here. Um, the things you need to be careful of are that darkness attack right there, which you just need to get away from. Uh, you either need to hug Wolnir when he does it, or you need to, you know, roll away from him real fast. Uh, but the big thing you need to remember is that you need to whack Wolnir's bangles. Uh, hitting him in the hand and doing other stuff is kind of worthless. Um... It is not worth your time, nor is it worth the effort or energy necessary. You do, like, 11 damage to him at any given time. Um, and uh, hitting him in the Bengals causes that to happen, and he takes a, a bucket load of damage, um, which is good. The other thing you need to be careful of is that Darkness Breath attack, right? So he does the Darkness Breath attack. It's supposed to make you push forward. The other thing you need to be careful of is sometimes he'll crawl forward at you, and he's got, like, a, like a pool of Darkness energy underneath him. Uh, you can kind of see it if you look really carefully, um, right below his body, you can see, like, the black fog over there, um, my advice is to take out the two one, the two left-handed bangles first, and then focus on the right-handed bangle, uh, the right-handed bangle hides inside of the darkness field a little bit, if you're not careful, um, 
And so you just kind of gotta, you kind of just gotta get in there and wail on the bangle, and you'll be good. Um, boss is not that hard. Wolnir is just scary. He's just big and scary and skeletal and kind of spoopy. Um, but you, we took him down super easy. I'm actually confident we could have done that solo. Um, I wanted to summon NPC help because I like to summon NPC help whenever we get the opportunity to. But uh, yeah, like that, uh, our player friend there basically didn't do shit. Uh, just, I, I think I pretty much killed that boss on my own, truth be told. But beside the point. Um, Wolnir's not hard. Just keep a cool head. Um, heavier weapons are better against Wolnir because they deal more crushing damage. Uh, blunt weapons are better against Wolnir because they do extra damage to the Bengals. Uh, but anything will do. You just need to make sure that you um, always try to attack the, his hands from the outside of him so that you can keep an eye on his body to keep track of like what he's doing for his attacks. Um, and once you do that, uh, you should be good to go. It, should, it shouldn't be too difficult. It's really not it's not a challenging boss fight. Uh, it's not. It's not the easiest one in the game. That one probably belongs to. I'd say the great what the great rotted the curse woods probably easiest, followed by like crystal sage, followed by Wolnir. Um, I guess you could say that uh, Yorm the giant is pretty easy. Uh, Yorm's only easy if you know how to work the gimmick for Yorm. Uh, if you don't know how to work the gimmick for Yorm, then you uh, you are dead. You are dead. That's okay. All right. Anyway, uh, we are we are going to go down, and we're going to find Horus before I forget to do this, because uh, we need to kill Horus now before um, before Henri finds him. So let's go down to the Demon Ruins and kill Horus real quick. Um, I do believe that she can't find Horus in the Demon Ruins unless you tell her that he's in the Demon Ruins, and. Um, so I think we're still good. Uh, I don't know if killing Wolnir was a trigger point or not, but I really hope it wasn't because I'll be I'll be pretty pissed. Because um, then we'll have to I'll have to like restart the entire let's play thing off camera and get us back to this point, or we'll just have to deal with doing one of the other uh, one of the other endings. Like I guess we'll do like I don't know usurping the flame uh, or like the. The one where you make the uh, Firekeeper Lady go crazy. Either of those ones are fine, but, I mean, I would prefer to do the Usurping the Darkness ending, considering it is the most complicated out of all of them, and likely the one that most people will not get during their playthrough of Dark Souls. Um, which is fair. Uh, so welcome to the Smoldering Lake. Uh, over there is the old Demon King ruins. Um, we will probably explore those after we deal with Horus. But something you gotta be careful of is that giant ballista up there. Those arrows do a lot of damage. Uh, you can use the trees to block them, but I would recommend just sort of, like, just avoiding them in general. Uh, you can dodge roll away from them. Uh, the dodge roll timing on it is a little, a little funky. Uh, but if you come over here, there's a cave right mirror. Uh, and right mirror, you will find, uh, this little path here. And we will go and kill Horus dead as a doornail. Uh, using the Farron Greatsword. I don't know if this will be a weapon that we use for a long, long time. It is a good weapon, um, but I am not a big fan of of uh, great swords. Uh, I don't enjoy using them very much. Um, that's on me. It's not something that, like, it, people love great swords. It's, like, a very popular weapon type in Dark Souls. Uh, it's just not for me. Um, they're a little slow, and I prefer to be slightly more mobile than that. What up, Horus? You ready to get you ready to get attacked? Huh. Yeah, cool. Uh, as you can see, like so, that's the L1 combo right there. Uh, you do a jumping you do a jumping stab with the dagger, and then you do like a bunch of sonic spin dash attacks with the with the great sword. It's not bad. Uh, the problem is that if you get hit during the first part of it, it does get interrupted. Um, so you do need to be careful. Uh, I do think that using it just as, like, a great sword, and then using sort of, like, you know, the other things as, like, you know, when you can kind of stuff is better than doing it the other way around. Uh, getting the, getting the jump off with the, with the, uh, actual great sword is a little rough, um, but doing, like, a nice, like, an R1 opener into an L2, or, and then into, like, you know, the, basically L1 twice, so R1, L1, L1, that's a good combo, um, the first opening swing with the great sword is pretty good. Uh, it's a pretty generic, pretty generic great sword attack. So you know we kill him, 
You are dead now. Goodbye. I'll take that. Thank you very much. Um, and I think we're good to go. Uh, that feels pretty good. We got a couple large Titanite shards. This area is pretty rich in large Titanite shards if you're willing to brave it out a little bit. Um, you know, that being said, it is... You gotta be very careful. So the Demon Ruins is not an area to take lightly. Uh, if you do not have high fire resistance gear or you are not prepared for the horrors that await you ahead, uh, I would highly recommend coming back here later. Um, <clears throat> I didn't know this area existed until I'd almost beaten the game the first time I did it. And on Macho Man, I did it pretty early. I did it around now. I did it right before I went to Wulnir. Um, and both characters were specced very differently from one another. Uh, Macho Man was much more focused than my original character. Um, also having, you know, the foresight to know when... You know, when I'm gonna get out, arrowed and shit. Like, knowing about the ballista and stuff was kind of nice. Uh, you can get rid of the ballista. It is a thing you can do. Um, it requires you to uh, go through the worm creature over here uh, and do some other stuff. Uh, the worm creature, there is a very easy way to take him down. We are going to ignore him for right now because the, uh, what's it called? The arrows make it too hard to fight him. Uh, right here is safe. Right here. Uh, he cannot, the worm cannot hit you and the arrows cannot hit you there either. Uh, but we're just gonna, we're gonna run past him because, uh, like I said, he is a little too difficult to fight while the ballista is able to fire at you. Um, do I want to kill the old demon king or do I want to go into the demon ruins? Let's kill the old demon king right now. I see no reason not to do this. Um, I don't know if the fair and great sword is going to be a superb weapon for this fight, but we'll see. Uh, you guys will recognize the old Demon King as very similar to uh, the Flaming Asylum Demon from Dark Souls 1. Uh, very, This boss is not hard, for the record. Um, I definitely would say that this is one of the easier bosses in the game once you know his patterns. If you just stick, kind of stay away from him, he can't hit you very easily. Um, it's very easy to sort of just avoid getting like destroyed by him. But I am doing a poor job of that right now. Uh, having shield equipped also helps. Uh, but rolling, rolling is always your best friend in every situation in Dark Souls, as you well know at this point in the Let's Play. Ow! I'm having a little bit of trouble because I'm not used to. I'm a little, I'm a little bit weaker than I'm used to at this point in the game. Um, last time I fought this guy, I had a bunch of, uh, a bunch of like, I just had a lot more HP and a lot more stamina. Um, Fun facts, this guy is susceptible to poison, so if you are having, if you have a poison weapon on hand, uh, you can indeed poison him. Ow, Jesus Christ. And I keep losing my my lock on to him because he's a big pain in the dick. Ow. Well, okay. That's fine. I knew the odds of us actually TV enough to kill this guy were kind of low. I do feel confident that we can do it. I think it's just going to take us a couple, shot, a couple shots here. But we will do it. We will do it. I might uh, I might actually go into the demon rooms to grab their first bonfire to make uh, the path back to him a little bit easier. Um, yeah, but uh, the, the Smoldering Lake is a good area to do. If you're a pyromancer, you must do this as soon as possible. Uh, the, uh, like the chaos tomes are down here, uh, and you need those in order to really... In order for pyromancy to be, like, super good, you need, like, great chaos fireball, great chaos fire whip. Um, the Firestorm abilities are not very good, uh, only because they have such, like, they have a re really long, like, charge time. Uh, they're kind of a pain in the ass like that, but that's okay. Alright, so let's go ahead and grab a bonfire that's a little bit closer. I thought that that fight would be super easy, uh, to be honest, and, I, uh, that hubris got the better of me there. Um, you know, mostly because I don't think, I'm not wearing, like... I had to change around my gear a little bit in order to wield the Fair and Great Sword and my my dual blades at the same time. Um, the Fair and Great Sword weighs a ton, and so it it limits the amount of armor that I can wear. Um, very important to note: never don't wear armor. Uh, every time you're not wearing a piece of armor, you do take bonus damage. Uh, your headpiece gives makes you take 10% bonus damage. Your chest piece makes you take 30% bonus damage. Uh, so you must be wearing armor, no matter what caliber of armor it is, you have to wear it. Um, and, uh, if you're not, then you are a fool. A fool in love. Owie. I wasn't aware that I could get hit by that from all the way over here. Alright, well, that sucks. Okay, cool. We'll just hang out right here, because apparently those branches are blocking that. 
We will fight bring the Great Swamp Lady with us. Come on, Great Swamp Lady. Let's do this. Got a boss fight to do. Uh, mostly because I need her to distract him while I go grab my while I grab my souls. Um, and not because I think I need help. I actually do I actually do believe I can grab this, but I need I need the uh, the cuculus lady to distract him while I grab these. Which I guess I didn't need to do that either. Um, she's got like a whip and what appears to be a pyromancy flame. It's probably a pyromancer. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just assume that she's not gonna be very useful against the demon completely made out of fire. Uh, but that's just me. I mean, you know, if nothing else, she will prove a very decent distraction. Cool. We're doing fine. Uh, we just gotta maintain a safe, a safe and acceptable distance. And I gotta really work on my dodge roll timing here. Ow! Well, she's poisoning his ass. She's using, she's using the poison fart cloud attack. Drink, you bastard. Attack the thing! What are you doing? Is she attacking me? What are you attacking me for? Don't attack me. Poison him. Um, so this is how you can tell that the uh, the boss is weak to poison. Uh, he actually can be poisoned. Uh, he's one of the few bosses in the game that can actually be poisoned. Um, which is an important note, because uh, there are not very many bosses in the game that can be poisoned. Alright, we just gotta... Maintain a safe-ish distance. Ow. And try to stick towards his butt, but um, that's not working very well right now. Alright, it appears the boss has been poisoned, so that's good. Um, it took a minute, but we got it. Um, well, Poison Lady got it. I, I just sort of hit him with my greatsword until he dies. Um, this is my problem with the greatswords. Is so, like, I also just don't have the stamina to really wield one of these stupid things. Uh, we need to back the hell up, because he's going to do... Meteor Storm. Meteor Storm! Uh, that Meteor Attack is really annoying, but it's got a really, it's got a really huge tell, so it looks like, ah, like our, our Great Swamp Blade is going to be dead here in a second. But luckily, her poison is going to continue to tick despite the fact that she's dead, which will be very nice. What's, what's going on here? He's putting out a Ring of Fire. Jump over that real quick. Here comes Meteor Storm. And we will move away from him real quick. Here come the meteors. Just keep moving. If you don't stop moving, the meteors can't hit you very easy. Um, it's just kind of important. Always remember to dodge. Um, you know, keep your timing ready. Stuff like that. Starting to get into the dates. Modern years and stuff like that. Okay, cool. We're good. We're still fine. Uh, we've still got five Estus flasks. And we're still sitting kind of pretty. He's about half dead. Uh, should be fine. The poison is helping a little bit. I will admit that much. There's a loving in your eyes on the way. I hope you guys are enjoying the series, by the way. Uh, I, I think I talk about this, like, every episode. Um, but, you know, I do I do enjoy playing Dark Souls. And I hope that, uh, I hope that if nothing else, this series is at least informative. Um, for those of you who are still playing Dark Souls at home. Or if you've played it before and, you, you know, you're curious to see other types of builds and things like that. Uh, you know, I, I hope that you're getting something out of it, you know? I hope that it's something exciting and fun for you to watch, and I hope that you are enjoying it. Uh, if you're not, I'm sorry. I mean, you know, I, there's other content for you to watch. If you prefer something a little more fast-paced and a lot less informative, you can play Gun you can watch the Gungeon videos. Uh, those are pretty fast-paced, and although they are informative, they are not, like, nearly as... They're not as cut-and-dry informative. They're not Bill Nye the Science Guy level informative. Um, granted, is that really a problem? I don't think being Bill Nye the Science Guy level informant is a problem. I think that's like my shtick though, right? Is that like I'm I'm like this gamer guy who is very informative. Like, I'm, I'm generally pretty knowledgeable about the games that I'm playing. And if I'm not, I'm doing my best to explain to you my thought processes behind like my actions. So that way, if you know I'm not doing it right, you can tell me like you know, I can take criticism. It's fine. Uh, Dark Souls going fine though. <laughs> uh, now that we're off a little tangent here for a second. Turn away here, get away from the fireballs. Um, even with the Colothery ring, I'm still, like, really getting messed up on the stamina front. Like, it's... Uh, I'm having trouble, like, hitting this guy, like, more consistently than, like, once or twice at a time. This weapon's so slow. Um, and that's my problem with great swords in general, is that they are just so slow. Ow. Ooh. Dodge it. Cool. 
I'm feeling pretty good right now. Uh, Demon King's probably gonna die soon. If I had to guess. Yeah, I was like, I think he's gonna go... He's gonna get, like, unkindled or whatever. Like, this mo this phase of him is pretty easy. Um, because you can just have to sort of stick to his back. And avoid getting hit by the mace. That's it. Uh, he's pretty weak at this point. I think we're gonna win. Yep, we, we got this in the bag. Do a little Sonic Derby, Derby Strike to kill him off, and we're good to go. Alright. Uh, the old Demon King is an optional boss. You do not need to kill him in order to beat the game. Uh, we didn't even need to kill him in order to beat the game. Um, and, uh, yeah, I think that we're pretty good. I think we're pretty good. Uh, with Horus dead, uh, give me just a moment to quickly double check some stuff. I think we need to go back. We're going to take a quick detour back to Firelink Shrine, something that I, I know scandalous. I've never actually done this before on camera. Um... But, I think we should be alright. Um, let's do this one. Alright, cool. Uh, a, I want to level up a little bit, because I really, really could use some extra stuff here. Uh, so let's go ahead and do this. I know I normally do this all off camera. I am sorry. Uh, but we're going to take care of a little bit of housekeeping right now. Because I have a bunch of souls, and I don't want to have to wait until, we're, uh, until the episode is over in order to... Um, Oh, Lord. There we go. Okay. Um, I just want to make sure that we're not missing anything. Alright. Okay, so the next thing we have to do is in the Irithyll Tundra, which we will get to. Um, I think now, actually. I think that now is the time. It's in the Yorkshire Chapel. Uh, but let's see if we can reinforce our weapon anymore. We can reinforce the twin cell swords, so we're going to do that. Um, and then we'll be on our way. I am going to use the greatsword for the rest of the episode. Um, again, I don't know if it's, like, my favorite weapon. Uh, I don't know if we're quite there yet with this. But um, it's not It's not bad, all right? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say that much. It's definitely not bad. Um, I think my problem with it is that, like I said, it's too slow. And it's not statted properly to make, like, really good use of it. Um, I mean, I'll, I'll keep using it for a little while. It's definitely a better strong weapon than, like, the... Uh, what's it called? The Drang Hammers? The Drang Hammers aren't bad. They're just... They're too slow and don't hit hard enough. Like... So, like, my two end daggers here are very fast weapons. Good at, like, slash, 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 slash. Uh, and this is a very heavy weapon. It's good against big enemies that I'm only going to be able to hit once or twice. Um, but when we're talking about stuff, um, stuff and junk, I forgot to burn, uh, my undead bone shard while I was in Firelink. Oh, that's embarrassing. Um, I need to go back and remember to scrounge around for anything else. So this is Irithiel, the Boreal Tundra. Um, it's a very pretty area. Uh, this bridge is kind of a nightmare. Once you make it to, I think it's this pole, or is it like right here? I think it's right here. Uh, this dog monster spawns in behind you. Uh, please note, dog monster is a pain in the dick to fight when, like, I know the weapon, like, the pattern for the weapon that I'm using. Uh, I can't imagine what this is going to be like using a fucking greatsword, which is already too slow for, like, regular-sized enemies. This guy's super fast, hits like a truck. Um, my recommendation is you, you also kind of want to not get too far away from him. But you also kind of don't want to be near him. His hitboxes are weird, and he's like, it, it's not, this is not an easy guy to fight. Um, well, on the, on the bright side, there's a fucking bonfire, like, two inches away from us, which is kind of nice. Ugh. But, uh, I am determined. Uh, and this guy's not that bad. Um, the main issue with this guy is that he's, like I said, his hitboxes are irregular. Um... So, like, you'd expect, like, only the front of his mouth to be, like, where you can get hit, right? But you'd be wrong. Uh, you can get hit, like, by, like, his rib cage and shit. Um, so you really gotta time out your your rolls, like, carefully. Um, which can be bad. Ah, but you, like, wanna try to, like, you wanna bait him in doing, like, an attack like that, and then, like, get away from him. And it's, but it's hard, because then if you get too far away from him, he has, like, an attack that's an instant kill, where he, like comes at you all chompy chompy and you like really gotta he's you just gotta be careful take your time play it safe do your thing you know how to play dark souls at this point like we've killed so many bosses that this guy shouldn't 
he's gonna be a problem. Okay, I'm just gonna I'm gonna be straight with you. He's gonna be a problem. He's about as hard as like some of the earlier bosses in the game. Um, he just hits he hits too hard, and he has like like I said an irregular pattern and stuff. Like it's just kind of it's rough. It's a rough boss. A rough, not even a boss. It's just a character. That's the most fucked up thing. Uh, luckily, once you kill him, he's dead. Like they do count. They are like a mini boss. Um, I guess you could put it that way. If you want to put it in like other game terms. Ow! Damn it, he was so close. I just need to get a hit on him. I wanted to heal to be safe, but I should have just been aggressive and hit him. Oh well. That's right. We'll be, we'll get through this. It's gonna take a couple tries. Uh, the great sword is not an ideal weapon for this. I'll be honest. And you're probably yell saying, "Ah, oh, stealing! Just switch to the other weapon." Well, no, I promised to give the the great sword its fair shake, and it isn't bad per se, but it's not easy to use. Um. Definitely not easy to use. Um, certainly not easy to use. His head is his weak point, by the way. Um, hitting him in the legs and stuff does do less damage, um, as you have seen a couple of times already. Okay, take a drink here. Um, hitting him in the body and stuff does less damage than hitting him in the head. So you kind of you want to try to hit him in the head if you can. Uh, note that being in front of him is the most dangerous place to be. Um, Oh, but I got him now. Boom, baby! Cool. A little bit of critical strike damage there. Not bad. Go ahead and kill kill his ass. No, stay down. Stay down, doggo. All right. That made that a lot easier. Pontiff's right eye. The Pontiff's right eye heals you on its successive hits? Or is that this one? No, so Pontiff's right eye is more damage on successive hits. Yeah. Um... Which is not bad. Uh, if you're using our little dual daggery thing, these things, uh, that's kind of crazy good because it'll make you hit like a truck after a while. Um, if you're fighting large groups of enemy, both of the pontiff weapons are super great because they they cause a large amount of uh, they they trigger off of multiple su Ooh, successive hits. Um, it's not just like consistent attacking. If you hit like four or five targets at the same time, it also triggers the eyes. Um, so that could be pretty good. Uh, we'll try to make it as far into this as we can. Um, I call this area the Land of the Hugo Weavings. Uh, if you've never watched uh, Lord of the Rings, then that doesn't make a whole, whole hell of a lot of sense. But I think a lot of the enemies in this area look like uh, Elrond from the, uh, the Lord of the Rings movies. Not that guy. This guy's like uh, this guy's like an outrider knight. Uh, those guys are pain in the ass too. But these guys, these guys are the Hugo Weavings. Hello, Hugo. Come on. Uh, I call him that because again, I do think that they look an awful lot like Hugo Weaving from the Lord of the Rings movies. Out, out. Ooh, ooh. This is gonna be a pain in the dick. I my weapon's super slow, and they're super fast, and they've got ghost skulls. Oh, man. All right, this area is going to be a nightmare with this weapon. I might have to switch back. Um, I do not think that the... I don't think that the... Uh, what's Who's it's... Fair and great sword is going to be super great in this area. Um, I, I, this area is pretty hard. Um, I've, I've always had trouble in here. Uh, on all of the builds that I've ever done, I've always had trouble here. Um... Widely due to the fact that these guys have very high poise, despite being incredibly fast. Um, I'm used to characters who are have high poise being very slow. Um, but the Hugo Weavings are very fast, and they kind of hit kind of hard. Um, especially if you're not careful. Uh, and I'm also taking an exceptionally large amount of damage. Much more than I'm used to at this point in the game here. Well, at least the, uh, the Twin Swords seem to be still holding it down a little bit here. Let's go ahead and keep... Keep on keeping on here. There we go. All right. That wasn't too bad. They are getting a fair amount of stagger going on, which is nice. I think I'll take off the Night Slayer ring for right now. Um, so the Night Slayer ring, this one that I'm wearing right now, uh, what it does is when you are wearing it, if you hit somebody in the shield, it causes them to take extra stamina damage. So if you're doing a blunt build and you're or a great weapon build at that rate, um, and you're having trouble with people with shields, um, my recommendation would be to equip the Night Slayer ring and then just go to town on them with a weapon. They will most likely get staggered, and then you'll, you know, walk through them because they'll get destroyed super easy. Um, 
we're going red for some reason. Why are we going red? I don't I don't know why we're going red. Um, it's kind of freaking me out a little bit. We are not going red anymore. Uh, odd. Oh, now we weigh too much too. Shit. Okay. Um, I guess we have to switch switch armor here to something else. What do we got? Anything less weighty? The brigade armor. All right. Cool. Beef jerky man. Let's do this. Uh, we can use a purging stone to make ourselves look like less beef jerky man. Uh, I'm not gonna. I just don't care. Uh, I, well, I, correction, I don't care about the aesthetics. If you care about the aesthetics and would like me to use a purging stone because you are tired of looking at my beef jerky face, let me know. Uh, I'll do it for you. Um, I think this area, I think the, uh, the twin swords section could be super dope in this entire area. Now this guy right here, he's a pain in the dick. Watch out for his, like, weird pyromancies. A lot of the things that he does, um, if you were not careful... Uh, they will like he does a lot of that kind of stuff um, And it's super important to Remember that it goes through walls and disappears and flies. It's much more unique than the other guys. Oh that lag was bad Ow! Oh, the explosions are getting painful All right, back up. Let's go ahead and heal a little bit here. Good, good, good. We're still good. We're still good. I'm feeling pretty good. You feeling good? I'm feeling good. I'm feeling there's a guy behind me. Ah. Cool. Let's just back up. Back up away from other pyromancy man over there. Ow. It's all because I missed that first attack. Shame. Ding, ding. Shame. Ding, ding. Uh, I really need to improve my Estus Flasks, because they are not cutting it, and I am pretty sure I have missed a few Undead Bone Shards at this point. Uh, quite a few, actually. As long as attacking persists, it attack damage up. Alright, um... Yeah, because I think we're getting buffed by it right now. Yeah, I think, I think that's what happened there. Ow! The curve on that was unfair. Ow! Ow! Please stop. Please stop with your bullshit, you piece of garbage. Alright, cool. He's dead. Alright. Fantastic. I feel pretty good. We need to get a lot more stamina. Um, because if I can get one more attack out of my combo, um, we'll be doing pretty good. The Ring of Favor is in, not this area, but the next area. And as soon as I get access to that, I will be using it all the time. The Ring of Favor is a ring that increases all of your... All of your, like, survivability stats, your strength, your stamina, your, um, other stats. Ow. Ow. Hugo Weaving, no. Yeah, cool. He's dead. Fantastic. Ooh. Almost died there. Uh, that was almost terribly embarrassing. Um, we got one Estus Flask left. Yeah, I've been, I got hit way too much during this entire area. Um, I probably shouldn't even come over here and fight this Hugo Weaving, but I'm gonna. Probably shouldn't, but I'm gonna. Boosh! Get taken. Gotta take you for a ride. Dut, 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 dut. Gotta take you for a ride. Dut, dut. Gotcha. <laughs> take that. Nerd! Alright, we're good. Um. I forgot what I was talking about. I was talking about something, but I don't remember what it was now. Um. But, you know, it's fine, I guess. I guess that's fine. Go ahead and hit this. Fantastic. Um, so this is a hollow staircase. Um, down here, there's another Hugo Weaving. Who we will destroy promptly. Ow, ow. Roll away from the... Ow. Roll towards Hugo Weaving, not away from him, you idiot. Um, that's embarrassing. Yeah, this area is going to be kind of tough. I'm going to be honest. Um... <sighs> But it'll be fine. It'll be fine. All right. Uh, I do think... No, we'll, uh, we'll give it... Let's go get our souls and we'll come back around and then we'll we'll be done for the day, I think. Um, I don't. I still don't know what's up with these, these ghosts. Um, they're weird. And I don't like it. I don't like things I don't understand. I don't... I don't stand. I don't stand, Hugo. Come here. All right, Hugo Weaving's dead again. Um, through that door, there's another one of those evangelist ladies. Um, she's guarding a tome, a darkness 
a dark miracle tome that teaches you how to do greater biting swarm which is an ability it's a miracle that causes bleed when you hit somebody with it um holy crap go away Ow, roll away, roll away, roll away, roll away. Heal. Heal and roll. Ow! Jesus Christ. I'm getting really frustrated. This area frustrates me really badly. Um, because I consider it horrifically unfair in like almost every way. Like, it's it's just not like these guys just aren't fun to fight against. Like everyone else in the game, like whatever, you know, I can I can live with it. Uh but these guys, these guys are the worst. Um, I also really want to equip, like, better armor, but I also need to be able to roll. Um, which, you know, isn't fun to think about at all. I'll equip dark gauntlets, I guess. I know we're, like, way the hell over the, the cap right now. Um, I am going to take off the Farron Greatsword, because I am not going to be using it in this area. I don't, I do not think. Um, cool, that's better. Uh, and a little bit more armor might help me out a little bit here, because I am taking way too much damage, because I had to take off so much armor to wear the fucking Farron Greatsword. And, yeah, I can probably take off my, like, Twin Swords in order to use the Farron Greatsword, like, more judiciously, but, like, it's just not... It's not worth it for me to do that. Um, the weapon's too slow in this area. I will probably get back to it at some point. And when I get Hobble's Ring, I might, I might, uh, re-equip it. We'll see. Um... I do need to kill, get the soul of a demon there, uh, which is on top of the bridge that I need to go back to Fair and Keep in order to get, which I will have to do. Um, yeah, I can get Havel's Ring, which will make it so I can wear armor and equipped uh, the Fair and Greatsword at the same time. But for now, I need to be able to take a punch, and that means wearing this armor. Actually, is the mirror set better? I don't remember. 12.6 for a 9.2 is kind of garbage. Uh, actually, the Herald set's like literally better. In every way. Um, yeah, you guys have seen me do a lot of, like, uh, armor management without me having, like, a lot of explanation. So I do a lot of stuff based on armor to weight ratio. So the items weigh a certain amount and they give you a certain amount of armor. Uh, so 3.2 for 3.5 is a greater than 1 to 1 ratio for armor. Uh, 5.3 for 7.3 uh, is better than anything else. But when you lose, when you lose 1 pound to gain... Uh, when you lose two armor to gain two pounds, that's worth it in the long run, right? That being said, it is there is an argument to be made that if you're not going over the weight cap, you should just ignore weight. But you know, I'm not gonna do that. That and like, I look kind of actually, I kind of look kind of stupid. But that's <laughs> uh, that's beside the point. Got the hiccups. Oh, I'm sorry. That must have been horrifying. That must have been a terrifying sound. I mean, I was terrified. I made the sound and I was terrified. Cool. All right. There we go. A little bit of, a little bit of, a little bit of justice there. Uh, we are running out of Estus flasks much earlier than we did last time because I took took a huge beating against that first pack of Hugo weavings again. Ow! Well, I'm dead. Okay, fine. Fuck it. We will we will come back to this area on the next episode. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. If you like what you saw, let me know. Uh, if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe to keep up to date on when I post more videos. And if you really like what you saw. Uh, you know, tell your friends. It's, it, it's kind of nice. Um, if you have any suggestions or anything, you want to talk to me about anything about Dark Souls, please leave a comment down below, and I will be more than happy to answer you. I answer all my comments, um, and I will continue to do so until they become in such a high volume that I am physically incapable of doing it without uh, using my entire day to do so. Uh, so yeah, with that, thank you all so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye!